Hello all. So this lecture is about the preventive maintenance approach and SAP PM. See the preventive maintenance approach is considered as one of the most important approach in maintenance activities. Generally, the technical meaning of maintenance involves functional checking, servicing, repairing or replacing the necessary device so that our equipment can perform in a better way. However, preventive maintenance is a scheduled maintenance which is which needs to be performed regularly on the equipment so that you'll have a less number of shutdowns or breakdowns. So it is a preventive step to avoid your breakdowns and if you are avoiding breakdowns, then definitely you will have a more time to produce or manufacture goods so that it will have a direct impact on your profitability. So preventive maintenance work is performed to ensure the optimal operation of equipment and avoid costly unplanned equipment. First of all, preventive maintenance is the one scheduled maintenance. It is not a need based maintenance. You have planned something. And in that plan, you have planned a particular uh, perfect schedule and you are following that schedule under the preventive maintenance. So what is the need of preventive maintenance here? Here, we can see that here, uh, primarily I have mentioned four need, <coughs> manufacturer recommendation. When we purchase a product from any manufacturer, so any product comes with the one user manual. In that user manual, it is mentioned that how to operate the product, what are the different specification, the parameter of a product, and also about how to maintain that product or how to do maintenance of that product. It is called the instruction manual sort of thing. Like when we purchase a car from a manufacturer, automobile manufacturer, the automobile manufacturer suggests us a maintenance tips like uh, you need to change oil in every 5,000 kilometer. This is one preventive step so that your engine can be uh, can be protected from any sort of damages. So preventive maintenance based on a manufacturer recommendation. This is a one type. Second one is improved utilization control of capacities. Now when you're Machines are running since long time, so definitely their capacity utilization may go down. So by performing a preventive maintenance steps, you can increase or improve their utilization factor. So this is another aspect of a preventive maintenance. Now decrease in maintenance cost. Now see, when you are performing preventive maintenance on a regular basis, then definitely you are trying to avoid uh, some big failure or a big shutdown of your machine. So any maintenance task which is performed regular basis like <clears throat> your oiling, greasing, cleaning of the surfaces, monitoring the different level of oil, coolant, all this comes under the preventive maintenance primarily. So if all this all these steps are performed or performed nicely then we can say that uh, there will be a less impact on the maintenance cost then it is said that the last one that the high level of intensity results into low cost of the repair and failure of the machine if your level of intensity of result is high then there will be low cost of repair and failure so on basis of preventive maintenance you can take a decision whether i need to repair that machine or i need to replace this machine Suppose daily you are getting a frequent maintenance in a particular machine. So you can decide based on a past historical data. Should I invest more time and money in this machine or should I go for a new machine? So this is again one aspect of a preventive maintenance. Now, see the preventive maintenance is categorized under this three way. Uh, here you can see the first one is called time based, performance based and condition based. When we talk about the time based, it means we have fixed up a particular perf uh, frequency of a maintenance. We decided that I'm going to perform some task on 
weekly basis however other tasks can be done on basis of monthly basis or yearly basis whichever is applicable so it means it is a time based maintenance the second one is a performance based maintenance which in performance based maintenance there is no any defined time in place of time you are monitoring the performance of the equipment and if your performance goes down then you'll go for a maintenance the best example of performance based maintenance is your running operating hour or running hour let's say something need to be replaced in 5000 hour so it is a performance based then last come condition based where you'll see the condition of your equipment and accordingly you will go for a preventive maintenance so these are a the three approach most commonly in industry we go for a time based approach see in time based preventive maintenance the maintenance tasks are planned and performed depending on the time interval as i mentioned you we can define a frequency of operation to be checked let's say i want that cleaning should be done on daily basis however oil level checking should be on weekly basis gland and leakage che checking should be done 15 days basis so what what i am doing here i am defining a time frame that time frame if i am adopting a time frame for my preventive maintenance then we can call it we call it as a time based maintenance preventive maintenance on the other hand in case of performance based the typical example of performance based maintenance is a car maintenance like you go for a servicing after 5000 km 2000 km whatever suggested by the manufacturer so see the first thing there i told you about the manufacturer recommendation so manufacturer recommendation primarily attest to the performance based preventive maintenance where you will perform the maintenance based on the manufacturer recommendation see the in industry the performance based uh, maintenance is very common for all the rotating equipment now the rotating equipment is your turbine compressor all these type of equipment comes under the rotating equipment so in the rotating equipment let's say turbine you'll say i'll i'm going to overhaul my turbine in every 2000 hours so see here i have changed the time unit because i want to know the unit of performance as i want to consider unit of performance as the hours in case of vehicle it will be kilometer in case of a rotating equipment it will be hours like every compressor needs servicing after 5000 hours so this is a performance based <clears throat> the next one is a condition based if the service life is exhausted an asset is no longer in good condition it means the equipment is not in a proper condition okay see the meaning of maintenance is not only to repair the things but meaning of maintenance is also to inspect the things to record the current situation of equipment current performance of equipment accordingly take a action so this is also part of a maintenance so here if service life is exhausted so you want to again retain that service life with the help of maintenance so that maintenance approach is called condition based maintenance where sir you try to restore the service life by performing a certain repairing work so this is again a condition based maintenance now see this one is a one uh, flow chart of uh, preventive maintenance how it works if you remember initially i told you that the erb package can be divided into three part master data is one part transaction data is another part and third part is a reporting so till now we have covered many masters and we are moving towards the transaction data so to perform any sort of transaction in sap you need a basic masters so first of all let us understand that what is a master requirement to run the preventive maintenance flow as you can see here on the left side i have a task list creation 
What is task list? In our last lecture, we understood that task list is a list of operation to be performed. When I say to be performed, means it is a planned list. Okay. So you'll say operation number ten is a cleaning. Operation number twenty is a oil level checking. Operation number thirty as a electrical parameter checking. Operation number forty is a bolt tightening. So I have these four operations. And if I club all these operation put together, it is called task list, right? Now every task will have a different frequency. As I told you, some tasks need to be done in a weekly basis. Some tasks uh, need to be done in 15 days basis. So you'll have a different frequency that can be done in a task list. Now other on the other hand, we have another thing which we call it maintenance plan. In maintenance plan, we have a complete detail about how the maintenance is to be planned and how it will be executed like in maintenance plan we will have a one sort on a one hand we will have a task list means what to be done then we'll another thing will have a equipment number where to be done at what location you want to perform this task apart from that there will also have a, some scheduling parameter scheduling parameter means how this maintenance planning can be scheduled See, in our coming lectures, we will be going for maintenance flow in SAP. So we'll understand, I'll show you that what are the different options and their meaning in the maintenance plan. Now, suppose you have a 10,000 equipment and they have a different frequency, something, uh, some equipment on the weekly, monthly or like go on. And today I want to run one schedule of maintenance. And in that schedule of maintenance, suppose, only five equipment comes under this maintenance in this week. So what system will do? System will generate maintenance order, which we call it here in case of this preventive maintenance, we call it preventive maintenance order automatically. So the <coughs> preventive maintenance order generation creation, order creation process is a automatic process, but take place in background. There is no any manual intervention. So once you have an order, <clears throat> suppose you are a maintenance person and you simply log into the SAP and you can see that in every box there is a one T code written. Like for task list IA05, IP42, IP10, here list of pending order IW38. So if you run this IW38 with your parameter, you will get the, all the list of orders which, which is pending. Or we can say preventive jobs. Now suppose system suggested you to perform a particular task on 12th, but it is not necessary that you will get that machine on 12th because that machine is in production. So you need to take a permission of a production department also before going for any maintenance task. The system suggested you 12th, but you can refer it. You can go for a 13, 15, 16, or if even you can pre pawn it also as per the availability or physical availability of a machine for maintenance. So once machine is available to you, you'll release this, that order. See, the releasing of order means you are, now you are going to execute the maintenance task. Now see, when you want to perform any maintenance task, there, there are some safety features required. Like, you first of all, primarily you will need electrical isolation. Or sometime what happen if you are going to work in some tank, so there is a, some, there are chances of some hazardous gas. Okay, so this type of danger situation commonly available in all this uh, industry. So you want to avoid it. So for avoiding this type of situation, we use one concept which is called safety work permit, or it is also called as a W work. C clearance and management, WCM, work clearance management system. In our course, we'll see the WCM in a, a detailed manner. So I'll put up a safety work permit to the electrical department where I'll request them to perform uh, electrical isolation. Once electrical isolation is completed, uh, electrical department shall send back that request to me and I'll start my job. Now see, when you go for a preventive maintenance, Sometimes it happens that to perform a preventive maintenance, you need some spare part. 
like i said my task list contains cleaning oil level monitoring bolt tightening and electrical parameter checking but suppose during this activities you find out that the cover of that pump is not perfect it is damaged so you want to replace that cover it means during this preventive activity you need a material so if you want any spare like you you need to change the bearing or anything then you need to create see you can see after leasing the order if spare is required yes spare is required enter spare requirement into component tab in iw32 it means here i am creating a reservation reservation is a kind of request which can be handed over to store department so that the store department shall provide me the required material which is needed for maintenance task okay now so i'll provide the request to the store department and the store department here in the next step the store department will issue the job uh, issue the material to me i'll complete my request now this is about still now this is about the how things work now see but we decided that we want to perform four step cleaning oil level electrical work and tightening here there is a one important aspect is written as a confirm operation iw44 operation confirmation means actual work whatever you have done task list contains the planned work however this operation confirmation tell us about the actual work suppose out of this four activities you have performed only two activities so the maintenance person will say okay i have done only these two activities in actual and it is a time requ required and also they can record their observation there in terms of reason in terms of failure code they can at the time of operation confirmation it can be done so you will have a listing of a task to be performed you can see the task list and the operation confirmations are connected in dotted line it means they are connect not connected directly but but they are connected indirectly so in a task list you have a planned in operation confirmation you have a actual so you can compare which work is done see when you are performing this cycle or when you are completing this cycle frequently on a particular equipment so definitely you are you are building some sort of history and for on this historical data you can take a certain decision about the equipment you can know the performance equipment you can draw some trend charts about the equipment and once everything is completed you have to close this order by saying the technically completed so it means that particular job of preventive maintenance is completed so this is one brief briefing about how things work what are the options we have in a coming lectures we will go to the sap and we will see how the task list maintenance plan everything can be generated created and how we can perform things in live in sap